Good morning. I hope that you're all able to view this video. Hope it all goes well. Uh, we, of course, here Wednesday, this video is uh, for the purpose of letting you in on some announcements, some updates that we'd like to share with you. Uh, we also take a moment to look at the importance of prayer. Uh, as Christians, it really ought to be uh, important to us to understand how powerful prayer is. And then we end with looking at a word of encouragement. We all need that from time to time, and we can find it in no better place than in God's Word. So those are a few of those things that we do in this video, and I want to go ahead and start with today's announcements. Don't forget that it is Wednesday, which means that we will be doing our Bible study over the phone at 7 o'clock, and we're going to be going over Acts chapter 9. That's where we're going to start. Dave will be teaching that for us, and so if you're a member here, you should have gotten an email from Dave outlining the Bible study tonight. Look over those verses, get prepared for uh, Bible study tonight. We hope that we can hear from you. Uh, there can be some input in that way. We can grow, study uh, together, teaching one another. Uh, also, don't forget, we made mention of this last week about the Potter's Children's Home. They're asking for food. I believe last week we sent an email out with the list of items. Uh, if you were here Sunday, there's a flyer in the back that tells you specifically again what those items are. Uh, and on that flyer, it also tells you that October 18th, that is uh, when we need to have everything in. And so as you bring those items in, if you would put them underneath the table in the back. Right now we've got some school supplies up top. Uh, and we'll be contacting them next week to see uh, about how we can distribute the school supplies. But for now, if you bring in anything for Potter's Children's Home, uh, please bring it and put it underneath the back table there. The other thing to make mention of, while it is uh, perhaps a couple months away, it is time to start, again, planning and thinking about CYC. CYC is always held the last weekend in February. So again, that's not even until next year, but you can start registering now. And so we've uh, taken a group, I believe, of five, and then it grew to seven. And so we enjoy that. It's a really good time for the youth group. Uh, they really get to uh, hear uh, about God's Word in several formats. Uh, I've spent a lot of time doing that. And, uh, but we need to register before the end of the year so that it's only $30 rather than 40 If we wait till January, it'll be 40 So that's just a reminder to you uh, to be thinking about. Again, we've got, this is just now September, October, November, December, three months, uh, but we're just giving that heads up to you. The other thing to make mention of is that we will be live streaming again Sunday morning uh, service. Uh, last week, uh, the battery did not uphold. And so the last two to three minutes got cut off. Uh, but we do believe that has been working. And for those at home are not able to just listen to the sermon, but are able to then see the prayers uh, and the songs, listen to those going on as well and participate at home. Uh, we appreciate all the feedback uh, of what is working, what isn't working. Uh, we've been trying to now move this lapel mic around and we're, we're hoping to get better at that. Uh, find better solutions for microphones here uh, and then down on the table as well, perhaps. Uh, so please, continue to give us your feedback uh, so that we can, uh, it'll be helpful to us and we can improve on that. Uh, as we make mention about Sunday, I want to inform you, Sunday morning's lesson is I am a fisherman. We've talked about different characteristics of Christians, different things we ought to be doing. But on Sunday, we're going to be discussing that I, as a Christian, I am a fisherman. And what that is, what we're going to be looking at, is what am I fishing for? How do I fish for them? And why am I fishing in the first place? Those are the three things we'll be looking at on Sunday. Hope that you can be here for that. Those of you that, again, will be home or even go home after the service, you have that opportunity, now that the videos are online, 
through Facebook or YouTube to share them with friends and family members. And it's a great way uh, for us to spread the gospel. Those who may not uh, feel uh, like they can come into our building, those that are staying home out of the safety, uh, worried about getting sick, again, this is a way you can take that into their homes. Again, because we were talking about Sunday, we must remind you about the kids' lesson at 1015. Uh, Mike is still gone this week, so I'll be in charge of the lesson this week for the kids. I hope that you can come. It'll be a little bit of Sunday morning's lesson, but at a level for kids to understand. Uh, And then we have worship at 1030, so we hope to see all that can be here for that. And also, uh, this is will be September 13th. And this is where we're now going to be in the decision process uh, making uh, of what we're going to do for the rest of this month and going forward. Uh, Whether we will be adding uh, Sunday morning Bible study back for us to be here at the building for that reason and that purpose. Uh, We've talked about perhaps having a ladies class. Uh, I believe it's also talked about possibly having uh, a class for people outside of the church. Uh, who are just interested in the Bible. And we could do those things over the phone, as we have been doing. We could do those things perhaps through Zoom, something to that effect. Uh, But we are talking about these things. And so please be prepared Sunday. Uh, And as we approach that, uh, know we are looking for answers and looking for uh, how we can uh, come back to uh, more opportunities where we're interacting with one another, we're teaching one another. So be thinking about that. I believe that's all I have for announcements, but we do move to then the importance of prayer. The importance of prayer. Hopefully, as we've now been jumping around and looking at uh, different verses in the Bible, that again, you and I can realize that prayer is not just something that is minor, that is uh, here in one section of the Bible, but yet it's spread out spread out because it is necessary for us. It allows us to communicate with God. Today, talking about prayer, we want to look at James 5. James 5, 16 through 18. 5, 16 through 18. And really pay attention to what this says and to show us the power of prayer. Verse 16 starts off saying this. Confess your trespasses, your shortcomings, to one another, being those in the church, your brother, your sister in Christ. And pray for one another that you may be healed. The effective, fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much. Elijah was a man with a nature like ours. And he prayed earnestly that it would not rain. And it did not rain on the land for three years and six months. And he prayed again, and the heaven gave rain, and the earth produced its fruit. See the example we're given about prayer. And what's important about that is it says, this man had a nature like ours. That he was similar like us. That he was not somehow separate. Because if he was and he had this prayer, then perhaps, uh, again, it prohibits us from having such powerful prayer prayers, but yet he had a nature like us. So a few words that may have been used that may have been difficult to understand was trespasses, which again is the shortcomings, our failures, our sin, breaking God's law, uh, of to be the fervent prayer, which is a working prayer, that we continue in it. And when it talks about Elijah, it says that he was praying earnestly, seriously, sincerely, He believed that it would happen. He believed it was important to have this prayer. And so it is, as we pray, are we praying for the trespasses of our brother and sister in Christ? Do we have a working prayer? Are we continuing after it day, day in and day out? Are we serious about the things that we pray for? Or is it just something we do and we think, well... We'll we'll see what happens, but I have no true hope about it. Hopefully, we're not praying in that way. Hopefully, we believe that these things can come true. That we know the power of God 
because it is he that we are praying to. It is he that we are making these things known. So may we consider that as we think about prayer. And may we be able to share with our brothers and sisters our failures, our shortcomings. And may our brothers and sisters be able to open up to us and let us know of those things. Not so that we can gossip, not so that we can look down upon one another, but so that we can pray for one another. That you may be healed, verse 16. That is why we ought to know about what's going on in each other's lives and why we ought to pray for one another so we can be healed. Wonderful. A perfect church made for Christ. So we talked about prayer, but let's talk about encouragement. Let's talk about encouragement. We've looked at encouragement through the Gospel of Mark, uh, of those things. Some were very evident. Some uh, took a moment for us to understand. But let's look at Acts chapter 5. Acts chapter 5. Again, this is uh, the apostles on trial, so perhaps you think that that's a bad thing, something to be cautious of. But understand why they're on trial. They're on trial for teaching in the name of Jesus. They were not on trial for somehow breaking um, God's law, but simply breaking the law of man. So, Acts chapter 5, 29 through 31, it says this. But Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey God rather than man. The God of our fathers raised up Jesus, whom you murdered by hanging on a tree. Him God has exalted to his right hand to be prince and savior, to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. Really, think about that and think about us as Christians. We ought to obey God rather than man. Simply put, wonderfully put, for us today. It was important, as the apostles said it there, uh, in that context, but so it is for us today, that we ought to obey God rather than man. Now, man has been given some authority here in life that we must respect, but we must first respect God and honor Him above all else. Jesus was raised from the dead, and it's by that he became a prince and a savior by giving repentance and forgiveness of sins. That's some good news. That's encouraging news to know that there is hope of repentance, which is able to turn away from a life of sin and turn towards a life following after God. To knowing that there is forgiveness of sins, that you not have to remain in the guilt of sins, but truly be forgiven, a new life, all because of Jesus. And so it's very important for the apostles to go and teach that message. So it is, it's important for us to realize, to understand for ourselves, and that we would also go and teach others. Truly, truly wonderful news, great news, good news. Appreciate you watching this video. Hopefully you've been updated on a few things. Again, Dave sent out his email about the Bible study tonight. Uh, also check your emails throughout the week. Sometimes that's uh, how we can get information to the most people the quickest way. Uh, and so again, rem remember the importance of prayer in our lives as Christians, and hopefully you can find encouragement from God's Word. There are some of you we won't see on Sunday, and we're praying for you. We're hoping that you get better. We hope one day we can see you in person. And for the rest of you, we hope to see you on Sunday.